Paul Craig Roberts, a Reagan administration official, joins us now live from Florida to discuss the confirmation hearings on the Hill. Uh, Mr. Roberts, thank you very much for being with us. Now, this is an unprecedented move. Why are Republicans blocking the confirmation of a presidential nominee for the defense secretary, especially now when the country is at war? Oh, Hegel uh, is a victim of the Israel lobby. And, and uh, his nomination is, uh, is being blocked because uh, Israel requires the uh, United States senators to show their uh, uh, obligation and respect for Israel. You see, Hegel uh, <clears throat> made the mistake some years ago when he said that he was an American senator, not an Israeli senator. And uh, Israel doesn't stand for that. Uh, every member of the House and Senate uh, has to vote the Israeli line. And if they don't, they're usually defeated in the next election. And so what you're seeing here is the demonstration of the power of Israel over the United States Congress. And this incident has come up because in the, in the last presidential election in the United States, the Israeli prime minister uh, supported Obama's opponent and treated the president of the United States in a very demeaning way. And so Obama now is answering back to the Israeli prime minister by appointing a U.S. senator who did a very, very rare thing and asserted his independence of the, of the Israeli government. Now, you mentioned the power of this is Israeli lobby. The Senate has chastised Hegel for his views on Iran and his perceived anti-Israel stance. If he gets the job, is he going to be able or will he even be willing to push for any real policy change? Well, that remains to be seen. Um, I, I don't really know what the outcome of him being in the office uh, would be. And... Um, <clears throat> Traditionally, Israel has been able to control United States foreign policy in the Middle East. And whether or not uh, the offense that the Israeli Prime Minister gave to President Obama uh, will change that, or whether the President Obama himself has enough power to change that, uh, remains to be seen. But so far, Hegel hasn't been confirmed. Right now, you know, Republican senators say that they want more answers from Hegel. But how much is this about information and how much of this is about embarrassing the president? Uh, none of it is about information. It's about showing their subservience to Israel. They have to show that. If they don't, they get cut off from campaign funds. Uh, the Israel lobby is very powerful. It has tremendous influence in the media. It can support uh, the, uh, the, the opposition candidate. It can drive anyone in the Senate or the House out of office. And so what, you, what you're witnessing is the United States Congress showing that it is subservient. It is a good friend of Israel. Whether in the end, after showing all this uh, uh, and placating the Israelis, they then vote in favor of Hegel. Uh, that, that could be an outcome. This may simply be saying, look, we're, we're showing our loyalty to you, Israel. Uh, please don't hurt us in the next election and forgive us because uh, we may have to vote in Hegel. Now, what exactly did Hegel do to make such enemies with Israel? I mean, what was his stance before and, and what did he do to basically uh, tick them off? <laughs> I don't remember the context in which he stated uh, that I'm an American senator, not an Israeli senator. Uh, I represent American interests, not Israeli interests. I think it must have been some vote in which he voted against the Israel lobby. Uh, this, uh, this happens very, very rarely in the United States. Do you hear from any elected official, uh, especially at the federal level, uh, any sort of uh, statement that implies that they won't jump at Israel's command. Most of them will jump at Israel's command. You can see anytime Israel wants a resolution, it passes almost unanimously. 
Uh, anytime there's a, a vote that has to do with Israeli interests, it passes almost unanimously. So there's really, it's impossible uh, to be a member of the United States Congress and remain in the Congress if you oppose Israeli interests or you even show that you have independent thoughts about <laughs> what about Israeli interests. So that's what Hegel did. He showed that he wasn't the complete puppet, that he had some independence of mind. And this is not tolerable to the Israel lobby. All right. Thank you very much for your thoughts on the subject. Appreciate uh, you with your experience on this. Uh, thanks for being with us here on RT. Yes.